Hold up. They used to say that I was underrated, so I'm under pressure, tell I'm undertaking. Used to star, stomach going deflated, now I'm eating good, never under catered. From a city where you... Yo, what's going on guys? Your boy X here. Today we're doing that My Hero Academia Season 4, Episode 3, Live Reaction. Um, what was I about to say? Um... Last we left off, oh my god, fire ass episode. I mean, first half, I guess you would say. Let's let's be honest, but um, overhaul, man, he came to play. That's all I gotta say with that. Um, you know, cause you know they was hyping his ass up, and like, I, as a matter of fact, I think he's the first person in my hero so far to catch a body. And I might be wrong. Well, I mean that we've seen, cause I'm pretty sure. Some of these villains have probably killed somebody. I'm really trying to think because I don't think Tomer hasn't killed anybody yet. And we haven't seen All for One kill anybody, although so, <laughs> some of them people should have died when he was attacking the city. Well, maybe he did kill some people. We just, because I think it was some casualties, right? So, but I mean, a body that we've actually like see, like, uh, like, you know, with All for One, he destroyed the city. You don't see no bodies, right? Uh, <laughs> Um, but the city's destroyed. Um, this man overhaul came in there. Blow! Blow! <laughs> um, and on top of that, too, Deku, he's trying to um, work under Night Eye at the moment. That's where we are, Mr. Tickle Master. I'm gonna call it. <laughs> That's gonna be his nickname, Mr. Tickle Master. But now, nah. alright, let's go ahead and get started. I'm over here talking a lot. Um, but remember, guys, for more My Hero Academia live reactions slash reviews. Make sure I hit the subscribe button down below if you're new to the channel. Try to get to the 20,000 by the end of the year. We can do it. Alright. About to begin this, guys. In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's get it. <clears throat> Here at all work study. Okay. Like they give you these refreshers right here. Ah, uh, Stain. Will we get to see him later on again? Because I would love to see Stain again. Mm, mm, mm. The sidekick. <laughs> Sir Night Eye. I forgot to say Sir in front of his name. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Night Eye. What kind of condition is that? <laughs> like, how would y'all feel if you walked into a situation like that? Like, just somebody strapped up to, like, a machine just, like, getting tickled to death. Oh yeah, all right, here we go. What's with that face? <laughs> wow. That boy got the centimeters, oh my God. I wanted. <laughs> he became a fanboy all of a sudden. What? Change a river or change a water quad. That's a that's actually that good, but that's like Jesus, huh? Turning water to wine. <laughs> I don't know, that'd be a good ability to have. You don't want water, you just change it to something else. Mm. 
Wow, that boy, I swear he pulled that out of his ass. <laughs> I loved my skin part. Wow. <laughs> I'll rescue you while he's talking to him. Hmm, that's good. Boy meets world? Uh, what is this? Boy meets with the... Hmm, <laughs> hmm, mm, mm. God damn, that boy pulling that shit out quick! At least some mud. And also, what the hell is that? No. He could just move the paper like, eh. <laughs> mm. It's a fire beat that was making. Wait, did his chair only have one arm? I'm just, I was just curious, but. Ooh, three minutes. <laughs> well, don't you think I'm a nice guy? That's not very energetic. Like this guy. He's that never judge a book by his cover guy. Doesn't even look like he would be a, like a funny person. <laughs> what the hell is this quirk? <laughs> Come and get it. Come on, I want to know this man quirk. <laughs> Guess we'll find out during this. Oh, go ahead and get him. <laughs> what the hell? Did he tell? What the?
<laughs> yeah, right? Foresight. Is that his ability? So he can predict. Oh, wow. That's a cool ass ability. <laughs> so does he know or I wonder why he didn't choose him then Oh man, are we going up some percentages? All that hard work, Deku, come on. He's like, I'm gonna stamp that shit. Oh my god. Is this whole episode gonna be three minutes? They're doing some Dragon Ball Z shit now. <laughs> You know, a whole three minutes turns into the hour, 30 minutes. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. A degraded grandma. <laughs> oh, speaking of that, that was so funny. I forgot who it was, but somebody had commented that I had said Gran Turismo. <laughs> I was like, oh, I sure did. Damn. Man, this man got a broken ass power. <laughs> One of the riff rap. Uh oh, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, God! And broke your damn nose, huh? I'm flabbergasted! <laughs> <laughs> wow. That was the deciding factor, huh? <laughs> you laughed, right? <laughs> What? Got the job. Got the job, man. That's the ain't that the best feeling in the world when you go on an interview and you just get the job on the spot. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> oh, look at him in the background. Look like he ready to talk some shit. Throw some shade. <laughs> God, they are all everybody lost. Hawks. Which one is that again? No, oh, I ain't never seen him before. Shit, he looking clean. Hold up. And I was like, oh shit, I'm getting a job without even interviewing, huh? <laughs> Tokyama, that's what I'm talking about. Hope we, I hope we get to see some more with him too. <laughs> Stop saying that. In a big wide open gap. What is this? <laughs> I'm getting my hopes up. Damn, that boy ready. That boy said, if it's about a job, I'm about to get it. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> we need to catch up. <laughs> I keep saying that we need to catch up. This. Come on, Manetta, that's what I'm talking about. What kind of job he about to get? My dark past. <laughs> what was he 
looking at? I, I just know, like, I don't, I don't know what he was looking at. Did... The number two Chisaki. So who the hell was number one? What the hell? Shit! Oh, it's an extra scene. Okay. <laughs> that was going to the preview. Oh, hey, there she go. I was wondering when we was going to see her. <laughs> Walking like Jason and shit. The hell? Damn, that surveillance, huh? That surveillance really came through. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. Damn. Fighting a fake. Wow. Okay. Ooh, next episode looking like it's about to be serious. I don't know, huh? Uh, no. <laughs> um. So where do I begin? Um. This episode. This episode's all right. I think just because you know it was kind of like <laughs> in, the, in the office the whole episode, right? Um. Now I will say I do love um Night Eyes Quirk. Uh, it's definitely OP, I guess to a degree, right? Um, I love how like these powers, like th there's people that have OP powers, but then there's like a certain um what's the word I'm looking for? Like uh not weakness, but like uh you know it get oh, okay I guess you could say weakness like like they have a certain power it might be OP but there's like a certain like limit or something that makes it like not OP right like for example with him like he touches somebody and once he does that he can see all the moves that they're gonna make but only for an hour I believe it said like oh, up to an hour so I mean yeah in the real world that would be fucking crazy because it's like oh shit I can't do nothing to this guy but in the anime world you know I would go pretty fast. <laughs> like, even this, right? Three minutes, whole goddamn episode. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, his his ability was cool because he was like, you know, because Deku, we already know, like, with his uh, full cow, he's pretty fast, right? Uh, thanks to Grand Torino. <laughs> uh, but, um, like, this man was over here, you know, dodging everything, even though how fast Deku is. So that's, you know, good, you know, with that whole uh, foresight shit. That's crazy. Um, but the whole episode, he was really talking shit about um, Deku. Like, he was just like, you know, um, uh, All my Choice was supposed to be uh, Miori, uh, uh, yeah, Miorio, <laughs> Miorio, but, uh, I know I said his name wrong, but, you know, um, but, you know, uh, I don't know why he chose you, blah, 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 I mean, <laughs> you know, while dodging and shit, talking shit. Um, and he was basically getting into Deku's head and everything, but all the same too, it was cool that, uh, like after the three minutes were over, we find out that like during all of this time, he was trying to grab the, the stamp from his hand. He didn't like damage any of the All Might stuff that was on the wall. So that's crazy. And 
Um, apparently though, apparently before they had even began, he was already gonna allow him to be in there. Uh, even though he was talking mad shit, right? But <laughs> he was automatically gonna stamp the paper anyway. I think, matter of fact, he had pulled a paper out the desk and it was already... No, no, my bad, it wasn't stamped, but he was just like, hey, I plan to allow you to be here already. Even though this man, uh, what the hell he say, um... He said something like during the whole shit talking that made me really feel like he wasn't gonna allow Deku to join. But he did at the end, so that was cool, you know. Um, and now it's all four of them: uh, Mirio, uh, Deku, Bubble Girl, and Night Eye. So um, I'm not expecting much from Bubble Girl, but maybe she'll have something cool. I'm guessing by her name, she shoots bubbles or something. I don't know. Anyways, uh, <laughs> so it's funny to get back to the house and everybody's like, "Oh man, you know." Big enough, Deku. Oh man, you got a job? God damn, we. <laughs> and my told Oki, man, we are way behind. The boy said that shit like three, four times. Oh man, I was really expecting uh, Bakugo to like talk mad shit, but he looks like they're more mad than ready to talk shit about Deku. But yeah, um, other than that, though, I mean, that was pretty much the episode. Uh, at the end, we do find out that they're about to go on surveillance and they're looking for overhaul which you know this is the connection right here they're looking for overhaul and apparently though what was interesting is he said that overhaul is the number two of this organization um <clears throat> now i don't know if that means like overhaul like went separately from the organization he's like made his own like you know been because they did say he was like collecting people or whatever to join or something like that so i don't know if he like left the group to make his own group like kind of like connect the still though to the organization or is he working for somebody i didn't really get that but um or either that or like you know there's like the head guy i'm guessing but anyways uh yeah so we find that out and then we had the little scene at the end and i was surprised because i wasn't expecting this like at the end right because it like seemed like it just jumped the gun not in a bad way but like it just like instantly i was expecting like maybe next episode start with like deku walking the streets or something doo -doo -doo -doo, and then maybe i don't know the girl comes like you know see this shit next episode but damn they just do jump right into it like we see the girl that's in the opening and endings with the little horn, and she's basically running away from overhaul. Looks like uh, terrified, which rightfully so. We saw what he did last episode. Um, but that's really how the episode ended. Like, she bumped into Deku that was, you know, I guess patrolling the streets. And, you know, Overhaul is right there, too. So, man, I don't know. Um, looking at next episode, like I said, looks like it's about to be a serious episode. Um, I don't know if they're going to fight Overhaul. I would assume, but then again, in the preview, it looks like the girl willingly went with him, so I have no idea what happened. If I remember, like, I, I think for a split second, I might have saw, like, them saying something like Night Eye said to, like, um, not retreat, but it was a, uh, some other word, like, uh, not push forward or something, something like that, I don't know, but she, the girl, little girl looked like she went willingly, willingly with overhaul, uh, maybe just not let him kill some people, I don't know, but, yeah, uh, that happened, and also, too, it looks like Deku was gonna confront All Might, um, and I guess we're gonna find out why he ended up choosing Deku over Mirio when Mirio was the one that was one of like one of the candidates to take um um <laughs> I'm about to say, yeah one for all. So yeah, that's very interesting because uh you would think, like now that I'm thinking about it, you would think that All Might would have chosen Mirio, especially since he's already established and he's kinda, you know, like uh higher right like the the big three right you know and he already has that cool ass power where he can phase through shit so if he had um one for all attached to a shit he would probably be in the store <laughs> i don't know but um yeah it's gonna be very interesting to see what was the reason behind that because it couldn't just have been Deku words of I want to be a hero, right? It has to be like something deeper than that. And I didn't really think of that um, actually going back to season one because like, I mean, well, but then again, we didn't even know about Mirio and we didn't know that he was like one of the people. But then again, I'm over here, but then again, again, um, you know, I guess you could assume that All Might was like looking for people. And I mean, it's kind of strange thinking about it now he would choose somebody without a quirk, but then, like I said, I mean, Deku showed himself, he did, like, if we think back to season one, um, 
risking his life without even having a twerk and everything and him want to be a hero um so i could see but it has to be something deeper right um on top of that i think you know he already knew that he was getting weaker and stuff from that little wound he had so i, mean, I don't know maybe it's something else but it, it seems like it's something serious so we'll see but uh that's all guys remember for more my hero academia live reactions slash reviews make sure you hit the subscribe button down below if you're new to the channel always come here and you ain't clicked it yet come on bro no <laughs> oh make sure you uh <laughs> Make sure you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Amino. All three of them in the description box below. If you like the video, guys, like the video, comment, let me know what your favorite part of the episode was. As always, guys, it's been your boy X, and I'm out. Deuces.